The cubs were born within four hours of each other on July 29th at the Chermolong Safari Park in Guangdong's capital of Guangzhou. After one month of intensive care, they have grown considerably and are in good condition. When China View visited the triplets, the zoo was giving them physical exams. They are one female and two males. Now the zoo has launched a campaign to find proper names for each of the three cubs. Anyone with names to suggest can go to www.chermalong.com or the zoo's official account on Weibo, the Chinese equivalent of Twitter, to give their suggestions. The person who selects the three best names will get 110,000 yuan in cash, or nearly 18,000 U.S. dollars. The contest will end on September 28th. The cubs are the fourth set of triplets known to have been born in the last four decades, according to the zoo. But it's the first time that all three cubs have survived. Their survival marks a new breakthrough in China's artificial breeding of the critically endangered species. Experts have spoken positively about their growth thus far. Cubs are in good shape. The youngest one seems to be in the best condition. But to be honest, for giant pandas, the death rate within the first year of birth is still high.